All right, welcome back to the Road to SSL series. We're on episode number 21 for today, and this is the first episode that we're going to be seeing the new boost update. If you saw yesterday's video, we did a first impressions with Flitz and then some solo queue games, but now it's time to run it in Champion and see if it changes anything for me. But before we get into the games, we have the meme of the day, and today we have Vince Kelly with Theodore Sosavelt. I had to see this thing, so now you do too. All right, we have a threes game. This is my first ever threes game with the boost update. So let's see how it feels. Now this is champ one. I hit this to the back corner. Champ, champ one is definitely uh, very close to champ three in, in skill. It's over two here. So it really shouldn't feel too different to, to 2v2. That's really good control from uh, Xena here. Good dribble. Bumped in middle, but I can still wait for my teammate. I know he has quite a bit of boost. Oh, good try. I was ready to pounce on that just in case he got it clear. This is a bit of an awkward bounce. I already know it's going to bounce in the mid, so you can see I'm already positioning further out from the wall to try and read it as soon as possible. Wait for this guy. I'm going to challenge this now. There we go. Should be nasty Nate here. Good try. Hit this off the corner. It's going to be awkward for them. Good try. I was hoping that maybe he could leave that down low for the pass. Good of my teammate to leave that. This is going to bounce off the corner, so I'm just going to wait for this. There we go. Bump the one guy. Good try. It's all good. I can say sorry as well. Could have left it for him. Uh, Xena could have probably bumped that in that position. Um, this should be okay. My teammate should go for this. Beautiful. Good rotation so far. I was going to go for this, but this one guy is trying to cover it. I'm going to go for it now. I'm going to definitely get beat. But I'm just going to try and bump somebody on the way out. And now on my way back, I'm grabbing this line of pads. Okay, this should be me here. Big clear. Oh, good try. Should be Xena to follow this. It's a really good touch from them. You can see I'm already ready in mid. I probably should have passed that down to the right to my teammate. But that's the best spot to go for it. I am low, so I'm just going to go back. I see there's no line of pads here. Maybe turn on this for him, though. Behind them. Okay. Teammate's looking for boost. Should be uh, my teammate, though. Other teammate going. And pop us up the wall. Hopefully he has it. Should be someone to turn on this. I can cut for him here. Nice. It's a decent touch. Good rush for my teammate, too. I can go all the way back here and just loop back. I could have maybe grabbed some pads, but just in case it goes far. Gonna be a little bit careful. There we go. I'm trying to bounce this off the floor. You can see that makes it really difficult to to uh, to clear back into uh, our side. To pop off the backboard. I like this. It's a good chance. Ooh. Not the best decision for my teammate off the backboard. Might be an opening. There's a bit of off rotation there. I'm going to wait for Zed. I have the ball here off the backboard. I'm trying to hit this to the left side. Good try. To my teammate to follow this up. Really good positioning. Really good awareness there. Now I got to make sure I touch this off the wall. You see how I roll that off the front of my car? It just lets it stay off the side of the wall. I'm trying to time the clear. And I'll just loop wide. See if there's any clears to the, the right side. Maybe my teammate wants to go up here. Xena has full. They're both people, people are in the corner, so I can't really go on this yet. Just trying to get a read on what's happening. I can go on this now. It's a good try on the follow-up from both of them. Shot kind of uh, messed up a little bit. Could be a shot. A little bit high, though. I'm going to try and get on this to, my, uh, to follow up for my teammate. Pretty risky from Xena to go for that push. Um, because he was last man, but just make sure to catch this nicely. Over the one. Oh, this could be good. That's going to take that boost, which is totally fine. Nice see Xena's in mid. Looks like he's being pretty patient, which is totally fine. I see both my teammates have full boost. This is what's, this is what's so great about this boost update. Is that, like, I know that they, neither of them really need that boost. This could be dangerous. I'm going to pop it over. Maybe a follow-up. Good, good beat. Wait for this touch across. It is off the corner if I can. See if it pops back in the mid for somebody. Teammates are a little far though. Be able to challenge this. Beautiful. Off the corner. Gonna go for it. Good block from the opponents. 
Now we have a free ball as a team. See if uh, Xena can make a play. It's a good chip, but he's very low. I got a clear here. Definitely over the backboard is the best option. Uh, but to the left isn't a bad option either because in that situation, there's nobody on the left side of the field. Good cut from Xena. I'm going to wait in mid here. A little flippity floppity to be my teammate. Ooh. A little careful. Good. Off the corner. Could have been dangerous. I don't think uh, Shock had any boost, though. Or Shock sticks. Should my teammate to follow this touch? Maybe. A little bit careful. I'm trying to catch up the wall and just stay close. Get a demo on one. Uh oh, Xena's missing. Oh! <laughs> Three v three is uh, is an interesting, uh, interesting place. Oh no, nasty Nate! <laughs> what a start, man. That's great. Three v three is always way more entertaining for me in this series for some reason. I don't know why. This is very wild. <laughs> Definitely a more difficult thing to move up in. I don't know why we lost eighteen in threes. What the heck? Well, anyway, we got a two v two game. It should be a little bit higher uh, and fast, higher level and faster pace. Um, but not really that much faster. I, I feel like I'm doing a pretty good job of like not mimicking, but just staying close to the ranks, uh, on like how the people play. Let's see what this guy does here. I space on the ball. I'm just going to shoot the ball, uh, towards the target. So that chip that I did was really good off the sidewall right here. That pop right here. Cause I'm able to land with the, uh, the ball again. And you can see that when I'm landing, I'm also turning my car immediately. So I actually halt my movement. Uh, on the floor. See my teammate can go for this. Good try. I still want to stay close here. I'll pop it off the sidewall here. Good demo. And the back pass. Okay, I like that. I'm going to get a soft touch here. It's a good challenge from them. I see Ricky's zero, so I'm just going to go behind him. Great challenge. He's at half boost. Should get this corner, though. I want to see what he does here. See if he wants to stay with this. Good job. That's going to be a, probably a goal. That's definitely not a play you want to be making in fast position. If he if he can, he should definitely catch this or hit this to the, the ramp first. But just popped it off his car a little bit too high. All right. Got space off this. See if he can get the corner boost. Even though he doesn't get the shot off, like this is a good position because... The opponents are very, very low. That's another goal. I thought I was 50 50 with that guy, but he actually just missed the challenge. And he probably was, yeah, he's very low here. You can see. Uh, I like that the replays show how much boost people had. Let's do a normal flip. It says need boost. He's got full now. Let's see if he wants to boom it across. I can go for a shot here. I'm just going to pop it off the backboard. Both of them are in net, so my teammate can maybe go for this. Good clear. Should be fast to follow this. Now I'm going to wait for Ricky to maybe make a challenge. Doesn't really quite work. Now I'm going to have to shadow this. Good demo. Just going to back into it. Turn myself around. It's off the sidewall. And I've sh if I was faster here, I would definitely double jump right into that again. Oh. Ricky's still got a lot of boost. I'm hoping that he gets like in the way or something. I like the, the, the attempt at controlling that. Okay, teammate should get the back left corner. See if he goes for a flip. Waiting for it. It's going to be over him. But good bump. That's kind of what you want to be doing in, in my teammate's position. If he can't get the ball, definitely get someone on the on the, the play. Like some sort of bump or something. A little bit careful. He hit that a little too heavy now though. As you can see, I have free possession. Big flicks. Get this to this side. Do a little chip. Just keep it close. The flick's going to be way too high for Ricky to go for. So I like that he's trying to go for bumps or something. But he didn't get the boost, though. The decent pop. going to make him go for it. Take this mid boost. Get patience for my teammate. Might have a double here. Good try. Ooh, good control. Okay, I like that. I make sure I beat this guy. It's a little bit scary if I don't if I if I try to play that patiently. My teammate has zero boost. He should get the mid though. Let's see what this guy does. He might rush it. 
Now, I don't have the ball in my car, so I can't really get, like, a proper uh, flick there or control on the top of the car. So in that position, I'm trying to get myself around the ball to a, to a spot where I can get a flick or something going where it's more dangerous. Big flick over. I like the aggression from Ricky. He's going for another bump. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm gonna say nice, nice. Oh, nice one. Uh, I meant to say nice one. My, I think my nice, my uh, left up is nice one instead of nice shot on my main account. Uh, but either way, it was a good game. Uh, definitely didn't like do too much. I feel like I was just kind of doing consistent uh, touches towards the net and stuff. Uh, the scoreboard won't say other. It'll say otherwise, like 700 points. But I feel like it wasn't like anything crazy. Um, I'm gonna solo queue, unfortunately, Ricky. But well played. Um, and let's see if we get another threes game and we can play a little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, careful with our positioning. The biggest thing I find for three v three is that you don't really find a lot of time to control the ball because there's just so much. Like, especially at this rank, there's just a lot of messy touches going on that make it difficult to catch up with the play. So what I would recommend is just playing a deep, deep position to be able to get some of those positions on the ball, like here. If I can get a ball. That's two players out of the game now. Now they're going to be panicking. Moves last. Go for a challenge. And we have the upper hand now. Maybe Mike can go for the shot. Should be uh, the other guy to come in. But I have, I have the ball here. I chip this down. Try to follow it up. Let my teammates get in here. It's a good chance. Oh, maybe to the right. A shot towards target, and there we go. That's a great pass for my teammate. Good pressure. I like that he had the confidence to go for it, even though Mike didn't make the best touch. I think Gunther is his name, maybe, uh, with the X. Um, he was able to follow it up, and definitely it should have been a shot on target in that position, but a pop off the backboard is not the worst. I'm going to try and pop this to the left here. I'm going to try and pick up the pace a little bit compared to the first game in threes. Looks like this guy's going to miss. I'm just going to go for the challenge with him. So I'm 12 boost. I think he's missing, so I'm just going to make the touch to the side. Not the best touch, and also I think Justin Justinian's going to mess up his teammate. Okay, should be Mike here. Avoiding the bumps. He's out of boost, so I'm going to follow this. And that's really nice that I know that. So hoping for an immediate chip there. That's good control, though. Good try. Hit this off the curve. Big misses. I can turn on this in the in the, the corner. Hit this to mid. Both players go, so I gotta be a little careful. I can jump on this immediately though. And it's I didn't think that was the last man. Oh my bad. <laughs> okay. I thought I was just beating the first man there, because Okay, I maybe I'm losing my mind, but I felt like that like we were on like a they were on a breakaway, but then I just ended up having nobody to beat. Mike's up early. Gunther also makes, makes a touch there. Okay, I have space here. I'm going to ship it off the wall first. And even though that guy makes it clear, you can see it's pretty dangerous. That was definitely open for Gunther, but I, I don't mind the control. Wait. No way. I feel like every 3v3 game in this series so far has been one-sided, either for my team or the other team. Maybe I'm crazy. We might have had one close game that was back and forth. There we go. Both my teammates are low, but let's see what Moo does with the touch. I could go backboard here. I, I'm probably going to mess up with my teammate, though, because, yeah, we're all backboard now. Okay, that's why I probably I was going to decide to go in net. Should be okay. Gunther can take this back corner. Decides to chip it early. If Mike can go for this. I like Mike's uh, aggression on his aerials. Pop this into the ceiling. Gunther's pretty far, though. He probably shouldn't go at this point. Definitely should have been ready for something, though. Now I'm going to be a uh, a shooter that's missing. Now we did get demoed in our back end here. Good control. I just took that boost. Unfortunately, Gunther's going to be zero. Pop it forward. Not the best touch because you can see it gives away the ball to them. Good try. I have space. Oh, it looks like Gunther wants it. So I'm just going to make sure I realize the body language is telling me that he's going to go for that. 
gonna wait mid here. It's gonna be one of them probably. Okay, double touch from a uh, triple touch, quadruple touch. Okay, I'm gonna wait for the uh, good there. He's making a jump. Okay, there we go. Oh, might have passed it to him. It's off. Good try. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Probably shouldn't take this from my teammate, but maybe a pass. What a save. Good challenge. I'm waiting for Justinian to pop this across. Oh, my teammate's behind me. I thought he, I honestly thought he was on the left side. Oh, hello. I thought he was on the left side. Hit this to the curve, and I'm going to just drive into this really fast just to make him force across the net. Good try. I can jump for this. I'm, I'm 100 boosts. Woo! And even if I don't hit that, look at that. Free ball for them. No way. <laughs> no shot. <laughs> Oh my god, this guy just peeked out his own net. What the heck is that? Oh, no way. Okay. Wow. I mid aerial on that one, by the way, I realized that that was like probably too. Like, I got in my head about it because I was like, that was a little bit too strong of like a play to like get a chip up the wall and then follow it. So I was like, I didn't know how to like aerial my car in a worse way. I know that sounds like an excuse, but I'm actually like, sometimes when I'm aerialing, I'm trying to figure out how to like not make it as strong because like there's a lot of things you can do as a high level player um with like your rotations of your aerials to uh make your hits stronger like for example if i pop this ball up and i do that versus uh like that that the amount of like power you get just with um i don't know it's hard to explain let me let me try to do it something else but like let's say i hit it like that instead of um on the front. I don't know how I'm trying to explain this. Like basically the, the way you hit the, the corner of your car um, on these touches, it's kind of hard in, like, in free play. Um, but these kind of touches where you're doing aerials like this uh, to keep it close, um, you can control it in a certain way when you're aerialing to keep the ball soft with your wheels. I, I was trying to explain that. It's, it's so hard without having the ball really high up in the air. Um, but like aerials like don't need to always be strong. Go for a decent challenge. It could be dangerous unless my teammate goes for it immediately. He does, though. Well played. I like that he's conserving. Oh, never mind. Okay, I was going to say, I like that he's conserving his boost, and then he just used all of it. Okay, decent pop. Good first touch. Good challenge. going to be... Uh, is it another Ricky? It is another Ricky, but a different Ricky. I'm going to go for this off the, off the corner here. Try to keep it safe in the corner. Okay. Uh... I'll let my teammate go for this. Oh, we're good. A little bit spooky. He got full. I was I once again. That was a situation where like I could have made a clear off that reverse play, but I felt like, I mean, I don't know. It's like obviously players in this rank like they have mechanics of some sort, but it's just a lot of inconsistencies. Okay, Kendall's got like 50 boost. A good pop. That's a good pass too. Great pass. That's great positioning. Like I like off these like uh, the backboard clears where you're like going backwards. It's a really complicated move, and I feel like a lot of people would mess that up. But I did recover it in a way that like was decent. I avoid the bumps here. I might try to turn on this, which is totally fine. This is the kind of soft touch I'm talking about right there. So you can follow up the uh, the wheel touch. Good clear. They're probably gonna turn on this though. Got a boost pad or two. That's a big heavy touch. Yeah, it's not not a great option um, for uh, Ricky there because he could control that into the corner. You can see that like he can't follow up because of the way that he flipped. In all honesty, he could have maybe followed that up by just driving into it instead of flipping because you're putting yourself way out of position um, by doing that. Same with this. Once again, see it's open. Like these sidewalls. Ricky is saying wow, but that was honestly his bad. Like here, his teammate's still recovering for boost. Like, hello to you too. Um, <laughs> why did it? Why did it whistle like that? Does it always do that? Um, like, 
You have to be very, very careful with balls bouncing back in the mid. It's a, it's a big thing in SSL that you try to avoid a lot with your 50-50s. Okay, does it just do that every time? Maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe he was too far away for me to hear it. <laughs> but you gotta be very, very careful with how you approach this. Now, he took that back corner boost. This ball bouncing in the mid is gonna be scary unless he can follow it up. Yeah, it's gonna be open. That's exactly what I was talking about, but that was a recoverable one from my teammate. He just decided to do a wide rotation. Like here, he could turn. Yeah, he just turned way too wide. Um, dude, that whistle is crazy. I don't understand. I could have also cleared it a little better. Um, so it's not directly off the wall. But that one was definitely handleable. Because I would never 50 50 that or clear that in a way like that if there was nobody to follow it. Should be okay. Wait for one of them to go, maybe, or just go for this. I can definitely beat them. Take their back corner boost. If kind of wants to get in here, I'm trying to do a wide rotation really quickly, so I'm back in mid to go for the shot. And obviously, you can shoot that a lot better, and it'll be a better chance. But there's a good op opportunity, good save from Kendall here. Good 50. Now this Boltzmann guy is here in the corner already, so I'm just kind of waiting for it patiently. Big clear down the field. Good patience from Ricky. Get control. This is the kind of control I'm talking about, but he ended up losing it there. Teammate's probably gonna get beat here. Totally fine. How is he going? Let's take the boost. I don't think the clears me that dangerous. Good cut. My teammate is very low though. Let this bounce here. You see, drawing in the players for the 50-50s is not a problem at all. All right. See if he has control in this. They end up messing each other up. I'm gonna pop off the side wall and try to follow some immediately. Off the backboard. Great finish. That was really good speed for my teammate. Uh, it definitely was a little bit scary, but I, he sees that I'm full boost here. Like I use a little bit to go for the flip, but I can recover this pretty quickly. Honestly, pretty good game. My teammate played really well in that 2v2 game. And the, and the second 3v3 game was a lot better. Um, we're getting very, very close to Grand Champion, I think. We should be like... I think we're like division four now, maybe. Yeah, we even have a GC in our team. So yeah, that's it's getting there. Division four on this game. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Definitely a, a pretty sporadic uh, difference of like skill on all the games. It was definitely felt different in every match. Um, the boost meters are great. I think that I'm able to use it pretty effectively down here um, in, well not, sorry, up here in champ uh, to like get a good idea of what my teammates want to do. They, they seem pretty clear that when they have zero boost, they're going to go for big boost. Um, so I use that to my advantage to know that they're not going to go for the ball a lot. Um, meanwhile, and maybe higher SSL or even GC, you're going to get players who have like 20 to 30 and might still turn on the ball. The tendencies will be different. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Until next time, have a great day and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hello, Theodore. I've also got a photo of Sosa, um, but I need to go back here. This is a big photo here. I think this is the only one I could find of Sosa where he's actually looking straight ahead. So it's a little bit edited, as you can see. But I just need most of his facial features. You guys know how this works. First, let's make him black and white. There we go. I think we need to like go into camera raw here. So he's a little bit darker. Like the lighting is a little bit darker. So I think I want to go in here. Let's bring up the exposure. Contrast. Bring some shadows back. There we go. It's already looking much better. Let's get him in, in frame here. I don't think we need much of his... I think, I think we want to keep the hair. Because that's definitely very noticeable. Like... Theodore Roosevelt hair. I think mostly what I want is just the eyes, but the glasses are going to be hard. I do wonder if this going to be possible. I'm going to take, I'm going to make a copy of this just to save it just in case. Let's just get a racing and see what happens. A lot of the times when I make these, I think that it ends up being that I just grab the eyes and the, like the main facial features. And that seems to work pretty well. So let's go in here and just erase most of what I can like this and I need to like I don't know how I'm gonna do this it's gonna be very difficult I mean like this kind of works I think I also want to grab a Theodore's mustache if I can let's just kind of grab a lot of this area here sure I'll have to erase this afterwards but let's put this above so it's gonna look a little cursed for a second uh yeah definitely very cursed let's erase this erase this let's keep the mustache kind of intact okay I think this is looking very bad. <laughs>
but it's okay. Let's just like get in here, clean it up a little bit. Okay, I think what I wanna do too is I wanna add another version of this. Let's get it cleaned up first. Let's get it looking good. And then I need to basically make another version uh, that's a little bit darker. I need to figure out how to get these glasses on top. I think I might need to add my own glasses. All right, this is the best I can find. I am going to try and get those in place. Uh, yeah, definitely looking very cursed. That's okay. We will get there. This doesn't even look like Sosa anymore. And obviously I need to remove these, uh, these back uh, temples on the glasses. So let's do that real quick. Good. Let's remove this too. Because it looks like it's supposed to attach off of this piece. And then let's do... And I think these old style glasses used to just like exist on your face off of one little like... Oh my god. What am I... What have I created? <laughs> this doesn't even look like Sosa. But like... Uh, I mean, I don't know if a lot of people know what Sosa looks like. So I don't think it really matters. Uh, let's clean up the edges here. So yeah, you can see that there's like a lot of brightness issues. Like I actually think this is fine the way we have it here, except for the fact that like it's bright on the one side. So I think what I need to do is go in and like, I need to like remove some of his mustache. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go on this layer, I'm going to go with spot heal maybe. Just like blend that in a little bit. This looks so cursed. It's like his nose isn't facing the right direction. I think that's like one of the problems. Cause like he's kind of facing that way. So let me try to do this and liquefy his nose. This is not going to work at all. I mean, it's okay. There's something going on with the mustache here. I think what I want to do first, just to see if I can make this look better, is place this exactly where the other one is. There we go. And then what I want to do is I want to uh, darken this one, I think. And let's see what that does. Try to match the dark levels of the... It's a bit too dark. I think what I need to do is erase this half as well a little bit. Uh, let's see. Erase these edges. Yeah. So that's going to blend it in a little bit, I think. And then I need to erase the darker part. I need to like, er like erase some of his eyes. And then all this side, I think. Dude, what is this image? What have I done? Okay, the glasses aren't really lining up with his eyes the best. Let me like bring them in, maybe? I don't know, honestly, it could be better, but I'm I'm happy with this. This is enough work. I think maybe, maybe one little detail I could do is just to erase some of the glasses so it looks like it's on his nose. Cause like you wouldn't really see this part. You know what? I'm kind of proud of this one. I, I don't know, like looking from afar, it looks a little scuffed. But it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. The liquefied nose is definitely cursed. 